For many years, the fields of science and technology have been dominated by men. However, this year SciFest Africa was alight with women who have become front runners in their fields. Women like Dr. Katie Coleman, Dr. Ellen Stefan, and Dr. Claudia Alexander became their encouraging voices behind little girls wanting to follow in their footsteps, motivating them to never let the challenges of being a minority get in the way of fulfilling their dreams. I've always been one of the minority at, at my work. You know, most of the people, when I go in a meeting, most of the people in the meeting are, are men. Um, and sometimes that's hard. Sometimes you think, do I really belong here? And then it makes me start to doubt myself because I think, well, if there's no one here that looks like me, do I really belong here? And then I have to say to myself, I have something to say. I, I can contribute. And, and it makes you have to have a little more self-confidence because sometimes you don't always feel welcome. Um, I think as a woman, when you're in a, a mostly male environment, one of the toughest things is to be taken seriously or to feel like you're being taken seriously, especially when you're a young woman. When I was starting my career, I was much more worried about being taken seriously and also felt that I wasn't being taken seriously. Dr. Katie Coleman is proof that the growth of women in science and technology is one small step for mankind and one giant leap for womankind. Sometimes when you look around in a room and nobody else looks like you, I think it's easy to think, maybe I'm not supposed to be here. And yet you actually have to stand up for who you are and realize that you bring those skills. There is a section of women that it doesn't occur to that they could do these things and that they've already decided, they've already made what they think are choices without understanding what the choices are. I mean, for myself, in a, in a small way, I never was a person who fixed things or did things with tools or, or made things. And I always felt like other people were better at fixing things. But then when you're one of the only ones up there and it's actually your job to fix things, well, I learned how to fix things. Attended by many young girls, SciFest has become the driving force behind the success of future female scientists. Well, I definitely noticed as like the years progressed, you see more and more females giving the workshops, whereas in the beginning there were a lot of males. And that was encouraging girls to go become engineers and become scientists and nanotechnologists. Um, because it's important. It's important that it's not just a male-dominated industry and it's a, a big mindset change. Males dominate and we need some more females to take the lead and to show that women aren't just there to clean and wash dishes and to just sit around at home when we actually do have a brain. And it seems a lot of girls are in agreement. We